Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayan Arimathea. And if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Welcome, 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 everyone. As you can see, I had to condense the title, but the full title is What You Need to Know or What You Need to Heal Before You Meet Your Soulmate. Um, I couldn't type it all out. Wouldn't let me on the platform that I'm using to record. So here we go. Let's get into this thing, starting with Aries. With Aries, the tarot card that was pulled for you is the King of Cups. You need to work on your patience. Not everyone is on the same timeline as you when it comes to commitment, marriage, or getting over emotional pain. So until you can accept those differences in a partner, you'll likely be unfulfilled yourself. So just have a little bit of patience for yourself. The King of Cups is very patient doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve and just basically knows when to hold him and know when to fold him. That is your message. Next is Taurus. You have the death card, okay? Um, your partnerships have been about transitioning, transforming, metamorphosis. You have had a hard time handling change often holding on to the present with an iron clad fist let go um some of you are holding on to partners that you need to let go of and you know it but because of familiarity which brings contempt you continue to hold on like as if that is the only partner that the universe is going to send to you the total aversion to change might just make your partner feel stiff and held back. Realize that change is, is inevitable, inevitable. I can't speak this morning. Hold on. Inevitable. So rather you hold on or not, what's meant to be is meant to be. And it can actually be a great thing if you let it happen with grace. So some of you are going to be needing to let people go. And Gemini, your card is the sun. All right. So meet this new opportunity with optimism. Optimism is great for you right now, but not all the time. Um, I feel like you have the tendency to be optimistic for every occasion, especially your love life. You sometimes... Um, your sometimes toxic optimism can make your partner feel like they aren't being heard when they need to be and when they need to have a deep emotional talk, except that sometimes things just suck and it's healthy to sit with the pain for a while, okay? So when your partner is going through something, it's best that you kind of sit back and just listen let them be seen, let them be heard. And that's something you need to work on before you get into another relationship. Cancers, you got the king of swords. Um, your struggle, it really lies in your balance between being there for others and being there for yourself. The healthiest relationships requires both to be on an even footing. Be careful, or you could end up caring way too much about the other person's feelings or wallowing too much in your own. So for you, Cancer, this is about balance more than anything, okay? You have a tendency to overlove and not love yourself more or not putting yourself first. So work on that. Leo, you have the fool. You know, some people say you could be a fool when it comes to love. Now, with the fool card, it definitely does carry that energy. While you likely want, want to admit it, you can be a bit naive when it comes to your partners and your lovers. You strive to start fresh with every new partner, 
giving everyone a clean slate, but you shouldn't ignore your wealth and past experiences. Learn from the past so you don't keep making the same mistakes and repeating the same lessons over and over again. Virgo, you have the tire. Even the littlest change can feel like the end of the world for you, especially when it comes to the affairs of the heart. It's the dramatics if things don't go as planned that tends to be your downfall. Stop overplaying situations. Stop being melodramatic. Partners will find this exhausting. Work on letting go of the reins of control and start going with the flow when plans change or that rigidness that you tend to carry will drive anyone and everyone away from you. All right, so I'm just going to stay in between me reading the Zodiac for the things that you need to heal and work on. Remember, sometimes things that we need to heal is not going to always be positive, okay? And so if you look at this as something as being negative, then this may not be your reading. You may want to click off of this video because I am really targeting your shadow and the things that you need to overcome collectively. And I'm not, this is not a personal attack. All right. This is a reading for the collective. If you want something personal, you can book with me at any time. My email address, I try to leave on every video in the description box. You got the musician. Uh, and this is Libra. You are very good at manifesting what you want when you want. But that confident means that you sometimes plan poorly. While making decisions based on a whim can feel exciting, sometimes you just need to have stability. With that being said, Sometimes stable force for your partner so they can feel like they can be on the same solid ground as you. And also having like, you know, those moments of spontaneous fun and adventure. So you want to be balanced, but at the same time, you want to make sure that they feel secure. So work on that. Scorpio, you got the higher font. Your independence is great. You feel like you can handle anything while you should hold on to a bit of that independence into your next relationship. Trust that you can rely on your soulmate for things too. Treat it like a true partnership by working together rather than struggling apart. And, you know, be true to yourself. And if you're true to yourself, you're going to be true to others. Moving on to Sagittarius. Your card is the five of swords. So there's been inner and outer conflict for you. Um, the first thing that I want to say is just be brutally honest with you. Quit playing games with your partner. Seriously. All the game playing will just drive your true soulmate away. Relax. Go with the flow. And don't try to trick people into falling for you. If it was truly meant to be, you won't need any of that anyway and you don't need to play any mind games love is not cerebral but unconditional okay capricorn your card is the hang one or the hangman so you tend to be rigid in your opinions of others you feel like you're right so why bother entertaining any other ideals the truth is seeing something from a different perspective will help you to realize that there are a multitude of right ways. Okay. According to the Kabbalah, all truths are half truths. And your soulmate will appreciate you not being so damn rigid and not my way or the highway. So be open. That's something you need to heal before you get into your next relationship. Aquarius, sweet old Aquarius. Hey, babies. My aqua babies. How y'all doing? I'm going to be extra gentle and careful with you because I already know that all Aquarius are very sensitive. So that's the reason why I broke it in for you. I broke the ice. So now here's your message. 
you have passion, you just usually channel it towards concrete things and not your relationships as much. Because of this, your partner often feels like you don't care about them. If you want to keep your soulmate in your life, try to devote some of the same energy and passions towards them as you do your passions towards your projects. All right. So I feel I don't feel too many single occurrences, even though the this reading is geared to every person that's single. Because remember, you're healing these things before you go into your next relationship. But I feel like more so for occurrences, a lot of you are already with your partner. You're already in a relationship. You're just neglecting it. And you're neglecting it by not being as passionate about the relationship as you are other things in your life. So please get that in check. Okay. And Pisces. Page of Wands. Okay, Pisces, you need to figure out yourself. Um, do some retrospection. You need to go over who you are a bit more before you're ready to find the one. Self-exploration will transform you into the confident and fully realized person you're meant to be. I feel that you need to just do some soul searching. And when you become that person, your soulmate will be drawn to your flame. And it may even be your twin flame. Okay? Maybe a reconciliation, maybe a union back with your twin flame. But whatever the case is, this is much needed for you. Because, baby, you have gotten lost in the sauce, honey. So let's go ahead and pull it back together, come back to you. And then your true love from the divine will walk in. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining the um, Zodiacs connected to Tarot and what you need to heal. Hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. Love you always. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Source. In closing, I do want to share something with you, and this may be on a separate recording. I might, I might just might. Yeah, this might just be a whole topic of discussion. But we want I want to talk to you guys about your material self and the material world and how things are changing. <clears throat> For those of you that have not got a chance to sign up with my psychic shield and protection class, I am doing um it on video in the form of a webinar, but I won't have people to join me. I'll just have it pre-recorded there and get it out to you. But the price is still $399.99 and it is worth it. Um, anyone that is still struggling like with uh, a bout of bad luck, feeling stuck, confused, you definitely need to take this class. And my divine matrix as well to just help you to protect yourself from um, psychic attacks, to become more realized in your God self, that class. You guys, these classes are amazing. I put so much into them energetically and I've paid thousands, several thousands for this knowledge. And some I've gotten from my angels. Like I've had a lot of help along the way. My spiritual team have helped me a lot to come in and to the development of both of these classes for you. You don't know what you don't know. OK, and one thing that I can tell you, if you really want to win at this, you're going to have to invest in you. No one's going to invest in you, but you. No one's going to do it for you. My classes are priceless, they're timeless, and they're worth your time, my time. If you want to change the things in your life, you got to start with changing the things in your life. I hear you guys tell me all the time that you want more money, you want freedom, you want abundance, you want peace, you want to a mate you cannot get what you want in the state of the same thinking that you thought 24 hours ago and what you thought about 24 hours ago you're still thinking about today in order for you to change those things in your life and to become unstuck you need to rewire your brain rewire your subconscious mind and these are the things that i teach you to do in the divine matrix 
You could do one class or you could do both classes, whichever resonates. But I do want to let you know that the offer is still on the table. I will drop the links in my description box to my payment methods, and we'll see you on the other side. All right. Namaste.